I've grabbed up three boneless, skinless chicken breasts and I'm going to cut into bite-sized chunks. And these are just a medium size. Into a preheated pan with the chicken. This is over medium-high heat. Season this up with some salt. Some of that wonderful ground black pepper. Some onion powder. I just like onion powder. It's up to you, but it adds a wonderful flavor. And we'll give this a quick little stir just to get that chicken coated with the seasoning. We're just going to let this chicken fry up and brown. You're probably asking, why didn't he put any oil in or anything? I was sent this pan by a company called Air Taste. Seems to be a wonderful pan, completely non-stick, so no oil is required. Um, it has a wonderful lid and it's great for cooking rice, even, even a roasted chicken. Place the lid on. Um, it's double sealed so you get that, that air flow throughout the pan so you get a nice even cook on it. Seems to be a great pan. So I'm going to do a few more recipes on it and uh, we'll, we'll just see how it works out. But so far so good. And if you want more details on this nifty little pan, I put a link below in the description. Take you to their video. They launched a campaign for this time of year. It would be a great Christmas gift or after Christmas gift. So check that out and see how you like it and let me know. Now we've got our chicken nicely browned up and this is just taking a few minutes. I'm going to add in about four tablespoons of butter. We just let this melt down. After that, two cloves of finely chopped garlic. About a teaspoon of my ever so beloved Italian seasoning. A few hot pepper flakes just for that extra heat. You can add as, you know, as little or as much as you like. And a couple of teaspoons of sriracha. I just love that word, sriracha. After it all, it, it is hot and spicy. And we'll just give this a toss until that chicken is beautifully coated. And of course that garlic fries through. That beautiful aroma fills the air. And to finish things off, a good squeeze of wonderful fresh lemon. Give it a toss and we are good to go my friends. So let's plate this up. Oh, it smells so good. And of course, spoon some of that wonderfully delicious juice over the top. And we'll garnish this up with some spurring onions. And there you have it, guys, our simply delicious 15 minute hot and spicy chicken bites. It doesn't get much better. You're going to love these. Okay, let's grab up one of these tiny little devils. Mmm, just look at this, guys. I think this is going to be absolutely delicious. Mmm, and you know, I was right. This is so good. It's, uh, Spicy, flavorful, juicy, mmm, just packed with stuff. Oh, it's so good. You gotta try this, guys. Okay, guys, just take up a few minutes of community time that Coco and I love so much. He sees another dog out the window, and that's why he's all excited. But anyway, I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. It's that time of year. Hope you don't eat too much, but, you know, it only happens once a year, so go ahead and do so. Um... I want to mention picks as well. If you have any food picks, we'd really appreciate it if you send them to us at um, webmastercookandshare.com. I'll put a link below in the description section. That way we can put them on the website and display what you cook as well as what we cook. Um, coming up in January, those January blues or February blues are coming up. So what would you like to see us cook? Would you like more 15 minute recipes, more 30 minute recipes, diet recipes? I guess what I'm saying is just ways we can try and brighten up those winter blues in our January and February until we get into March and April. And also we have some merch coming up, some merchandise. And we're going to be displaying t-shirts and coffee mugs and stuff like that. So tell us if you would be interested in that. So once again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, 
and we'll see you in the new year.